Окей, дякую ще раз всім, дякую, що зачекали. Дякую, що зачекали. Ми продовжуємо нашу дискусію. І що очікувати від пенсійної реформи? Ми розуміємо, що IMF не є тригером. That's the picture that shows that in 20, 30 years there will be a big problem to find money for pensions. I will introduce again Mariana Onufrik, Andriy Bakhmach, and Natalia Veselova. We understand why there are no ministries here, not prime minister, they are not ready to talk. We understand why, and we expect that the government will announce the draft plan of reforms. What can we expect from the point of view of unity in the parliament? I mean the support of the draft laws. Natalia and then you. It's difficult to talk about unity in the parliament on the issue of pension reform because discussion, there's no discussion of that issue in the parliament. Our committee initiated the parliamentary hearings on pension reform. They will take place in June this year, and I hope this way we will launch the discussion and we'll hear the answers from the Ministry of Social Policy, from the Cabinet of Ministers about their plans of implementing the pension reform. As to the readiness of Parliament, I can talk about the Committee of Social Policy because I'm the secretary of that committee. In the end of the previous session, we considered the issue of uh, our draft laws uh, on uh, implementing pension reform. There are a few of them. The draft law which was registered by the Cabinet of Ministers and there are alternative draft laws. The Cabinet of Ministers was postponing. The Minister of Social Policy was uh, sending the letter to the committee on putting us on delaying the consideration of the draft laws submitted by the cabinet of ministers and the committee made the decision to reject this draft and to take as the basis the alternative one the author which is Denisova with the group of MPs and that's where the discussion starts but there's no active discussion of that in the parliament. There's no consolidate, consolidated solution. There are arguments on whether our system is ready to introduce the second level or not. But I'm full of optimism because we have the third level. It's uh, the mandatory accumulating level. These are non-state pension funds, and there are 60 of them in Ukraine. Two and a half billion grivnas a year is not a big money, but this system works uh, stable. And this example could be taken as the basis to introduce the second level. As to whether our legislation is ready, we can say it's not uh, perfect, but we can pass the draft laws which are registered as the foundation. And then... Uh, According to your information, I will not ask about details, but is the government ready? We have sometimes different vision, and to approve something with the parliament uh, or to put for public discussion something that is approved by the coalition. 
I cannot uh, uh, answer for this question instead of the government. We know that the main developer of new proposals on reforming is the Ministry of Social Policy. And I would like to express my opinion and the opinion of the Vice Prime Minister Pavlores Darzenko. But um, the main idea is uh, our share pension system has to get transformed, uh, but the only way which is in the world and we cannot invent anything new is introducing multi-component system. Starting from 2004, in the law, uh, the law uh, talks about three level system, but 13 years past, we have only a pay as you go part of it. Um, and the third level, but it's not uh, powerful enough. Um, we know that the whole world uh, practices that the third level could be considered as the component of the pension system when in the beginning the mandatory component is launched and then the third level is uh, included. In our country, the third level is not developed enough, but starting from 2005, uh, the third level has been working for 12 years. It demonstrates good results. The previous speakers mentioned that. There are several dozens of non-state pension funds in the market who developed this market. But because there's no state support, the third level is developing by itself since 2005. The state doesn't stimulate it enough. And the second mandatory level, accumulation level of the pension system, is uh, very important today because the resources of pay-as-you-go system are gradually depleted. They're depleted not just be because of the social economic situation, which is difficult. It was difficult starting from the crisis of 2008 and then 2013. It's getting improved, but not as fast as we would like it. Unfortunately, there's such an objective factor, and that is demography. We have a very difficult demographic situation and in today's realities the number of people who pay single social contribution is 20% lower than the number of people who receive pensions. The pension fund quoted other figures. They said that nine working support nine pensioners. We have 10 million people who pay single social contribution and 12 million receive pensions. The number of people employed is much higher, but we know that the government is thinking about how to increase the maximum basis of people who pay the social, single social contribution. And the situation is that objectively, pay-as-you-go system cannot physically ensure the proper level of pension payments. Look at what's happening at the example of a common person who receives salary, but the salary is not enough. What the person is doing, the person's looking for some additional sources of revenues. Uh, The same way it ha it's happening in pension system, but the pensioner has limited uh, 
number of sources, that's the pension system, children who can help, and some income, which is received from the dacha in the form of natural products. One of the components of pension reform, which was implemented by the first president, these are six, uh, uh, 60 uh, square meters that were 600 square meters, which were given to people. But in this situation, when the pensioner has no additional sources, objectively, he cannot go and find another job and earn additional money. These sources are to be created. These sources are additional components of the pension system. The person receives part of it from the state, from the pension system, part from the mandatory uh, system, and part from the third level and from other sources. What's happening now? The state, and no one's talking about that, but look, we are uh, providing subsidies to pensioners. This way we are trying to help pensioners, not increasing the pensions because we have no sources, uh, uh, but uh, because of some other sources. Are you talking about energy subsidies, subsidies for communal services? And there's no other way out. Then my question is to Mariana. Thank you, Natalia. We know you need to go to the committee's meeting. There's such a word. The decision is to be approved, but they're trying to delay it. From the point of view of pension reform, is that the situation when you cannot delay anymore? And from your point of view, what will develop in the nearest future? The system which is state system or independent? Third, accumulation system which is private system. And people who work now, they will have to count only for on themselves. Hmm? Thank you, Roman. I was thinking about different terms, how to characterize the situation. So those decisions that are proposed now, we can get information from the text of memorandum that was circulating in the media. We do not know whether uh, it is the final document, actually, and uh, there are two aspects that uh, raise doubt whether IMF get proper information. This is about the deficit of the pension fund, and uh, the deficit is 84 billion, and the rest are the payments that should go from the budget. These are special pensions. So the situation is a little bit dis distorted. And uh, also, the government uh, should carry out comprehensive uh, reform. Uh, first, they say about parametric, then they speak about complex reform. So the change of some components uh, is not comprehensive reform. We are speaking about three levels of pension and uh, thinking about the issue that was voiced as a topic. Subtopic of our discussion is whether the government and the power are ready for this reform. I remember the words in English. It can be can or may, and our teacher of English said how to distinguish between them. Can I climb the tree? Yes, you can, but you may not. 
So our government, our power, they can do this. There is expert support. There is international experience, both positive and negative. And this is to our advantage. We can see where are problems and how to overcome the situation. And um, I believe that uh, there is uh, some political problem. Uh, there are some political problems, and uh, uh, some things are not reflected in the memorandum. Someone or something, maybe some people want to manage this uh, pension system manually. And uh, before elections, before some events, they just want to um, with some populism and accumulation system, as Vitali uh, said, this is anti-paternalism system that uh, allows to pay pension in the amount you've paid. And the accumulation system, the new system, it will take a way opportunities to say that I will raise pensions and uh, to say that the economy improved. That's why the pension is increased. So one minus two accumulation system is that the results will be seen not uh, uh, today, but in five, 10, 40 years when uh, these people will retire and our government does not think in long term and think about only short term prospects. Um, that's why uh, if we are speaking about the pension system, we are speaking about deficit and the IMF, but we should speak about the uh, amounts paid to people and um, the re uh, and on the side of the ministry we have the minimum uh, 1,600, but real minimum should uh, be 3,200 as minimum salary. Um, and we should think about uh, our generation, those people who work today. Do we see our future? Are we ready to live in such conditions as our pensioners are? So, we have a reinforced trend uh, of uh, migration, a broad bra brain drain, and people leave not only to work, they just do not see their future here. Thank you very much for this discussion. Do we have questions? I thank you for being with us today. Thank you very much. And uh, transcript. our transcript will be used in further work, and some things we've said are risky for those politicians who think only about their future elections. Thank you.